check this out. I'm not in Manchester. It's not raining. It's not cold. I've got a t-shirt on because for the first time in a long time, I've jumped on a plane and flown over to the USA. I'm here for a week's worth of filming some incredible videos, which will be coming out very soon. Stay tuned for that, so make sure you like and subscribe. Now, we just landed, and I've got a big game of golf tomorrow against a huge tour pro. So, I need to get my eye in. I need to get used to this Floridian golf course styling, to the grass, to the way the greens react. So, I've been highly recommended this place to come and play today. Palm Beach Par 3 Golf Course. And honestly, I might say this a lot, I do. This might be now my number one favorite place in the world. It might just be. And this is 18 Par 3s. And it's a part of my game that I really need to work on. But you know what happens with Par 3s? A chance for a hole in ones. So, let's get going. I'm so excited about playing this place. First hole, it's 170 yards, straight into wind. <laughs> it's not an easy start. Um, this is really gonna test me today. But I think this part of my game is definitely where I need the most practice. The short shots, the little delicate shots around the greens. These fast, slopey, undulating greens is definitely something I need to work on. So you might as well jump straight into it at the deep end. Five iron off this first hole, par three. Let, let me think about a target today. So it's obviously 18 par three, so it's par 54. Can I break 60? Let, let, let's that be the target, breaking 60. But if I don't, let's hope I certainly break 75 at least. <laughs> oh, that was a, a chunky dig out. First shot on American soil for a long time. The good thing was, it didn't go in the water. That's a positive, at least. It's this type of Bermuda, thick, coarse grass that's definitely something I'm going to have to get used to because we don't get this in the UK. Um, I've just come to the side of the green. I'm actually not far away from the water to the right side of the green. But I'm going to... It's the type of grass as well. You can't really put on this just off the green. So wedges, wedges are plenty. Again, part of the game that obviously I need to work on. Let's see if we can get up and down to kick things off. Oh yeah, that's that's different. That is different, different grass. Oh, I can't miss many greens around here. Okay, Rick. Testing par put up the hill, right to left. Let's start this round with an unlikely three. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Pars don't always have to be pretty. Terrible strike off the tee. Bit of a ropey chip. But if the putter's hot, then we're gonna hold some very good par putts. It just, just makes you happy being out here, doesn't it, eh? Okay, second hole's a little bit of respite. This is much shorter, 120 yards, pins at the front, downwind, and just absorbing and appreciating the beauty. And when you look around, the ocean's on that side. This is like a cut off peninsula where we're on, like this kind of long strip of an island. So more of the golf course there across the road where obviously you see even more of the ocean. Stunning. Okay, little gap wedge, front pin. Get straight. Uh, we put in, but it's not super close. A little bit of a pull left. Okay, long range put here. I've definitely overshot that one a little bit. Feel a bit excited and giddy. Up over the hill and it's gonna slope away from me. Feel like it's gonna be super fast. Oh no, it's not super fast. Oh, that's interesting. Because the other thing as well with kind of grass like this is there's different types of grain. You know how the grass grows in different directions. That was a lot slower than I thought it was gonna be. Literally jumped off a plane, straight here, straight out on the golf course. Definitely might just take me a couple of holes to get my eye in. That's exactly why we're out here today. But if they keep dropping, <laughs> if they keep dropping, we're doing all right. Right, I'm gonna go into serious mode for a bit now. Serious mode activated. Whoa, might just miss the green to the right. 
Get over that hill. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Whoa. So uh, this is this just shows how little golf I play uh, in America. Slightly awkward interaction with the cart girl because I asked, do you take card? She's like, yeah, <laughs> of course we do. <laughs> We put in. Good strike. Tip. Ooh. <laughs> they chase. They just keep going sometimes. A little cheeky one here for par. Just off the left. Let's knock it in. Oh, pulled it. Missed, struck it. That's annoying. Very annoying. Silly three put there for a bogey. Ah, two over now. Thank you. Thank you. Trust them to see me three putt. Bit annoying it. They've been nice if they sell me that whole good birdie putt or something, but it's real to see it on the YouTube video, I guess, like you guys are watching. Safe. We're on the dance floor. Come down here. And just check out this review. I mean, it's absolutely breathtaking. And these aren't even the ocean holes on the other side, the back nine of the ocean holes. I mean, that is just different level, isn't it? Different level. Don't get this in Manchester, UK. <laughs> Maybe I need to start using this passport a little bit more. <laughs> I, think, I think a few more trips away is definitely needed. That is absolutely stunning, right? Enough of that. Let's knock this in for birdie. Oh, I'm not hit it. I'm not hit it. Oh, maybe I have. Need a little bit more speed and I think it would have held its line. Right, that's a slightly less stress-free par anyway. Okay, six hole, 124 yards, into a little bit of breeze. I'm gonna try and hit a knockdown pitching wedge. Oh, be phenomenal. In. Oh, <laughs> hello. I've arrived, America. So five holes have warmed up, but we're here. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which one do I buy if I hold this birdie pun? <laughs> Look at those places. Oh, living the dream. Okay, really good look at birdie now. I might not get loads of chances like this, so let's make sure I capitalize. Flag out. Slightly right to left, ever so slightly, up the hill. Come on, let's crack open some, some birdie sauce USA edition. It wiggled and it wobbled. Oh, and it snaked. Oh. About here, I thought it was right in the middle of the hole. Ah, never mind. Give it a good look. Gave it a nice look. Swing starting to feel good anyway. Putter feels like it's warming up. It's not red hot yet, but I can save that till tomorrow for my big match. Seventh hole, similar length to the last. Let's see if we can just hit it 10 feet closer. Wind, wind, wind. Oh, I think it's massive. Right, little miss cue there. I've somehow hit it 15 yards long of the green. Uh, delicate little shot back up the hill. Let's see if we can get it up and down. Again, it's this type of grass I definitely need to master. Oh, it just digs. Oh, it's frustrating. I knew this would be a, a little delicate one for me. A tough test. Better. Oh, I'm such a short little hole. I've got that for a bogey. We take her for, it wasn't pretty. Chipping's hard enough. You've seen me struggle with chipping anyway, but chipping off that type of grass is just something I need to adjust to. I will do, I'll get it, but I'll need a bit more practice. <laughs> Eighth hole, 133 yards. I'm gonna actually hit the same club I hit on the last, considering that's probably how far it went, 20 yards long. Pins front left. This is very, very, very inviting. Oh, of course it's thin. Go a bit. Oh, caught it. Uh, 
just a touch thin, was it a good strike? Okay, so I just wanted another practice shot, you see. Always thinking, you thought I missed the green, no. I just thought I'd give myself another chance to uh, test out these different grasses around the green. Right, sloping away from here, left to right. Let's see if we can get it up and down. Spin. That was a beautiful strike, but it just came out a little bit, a little bit low and almost skiddy. Get in there, slowly but surely. Oh, I thought I'd box that. That was a little cheeky one, right? Starting to rack up a few bogeys from nowhere now. Look at this little, a little fella, 80 yards. I probably got, it doesn't even feel like it's in play that. Pins are right at the front. Oh, this is inviting. Come on, Rick, really good strike here. Oh, Rick. Oh, Shields here. So focused on strike. I just completely misgaged the distance. Aye. Wow, that's fast. Up the hill, right to left. Come on, Rick. Yeah. Oh, I made I made a lot harder work of that what it needed to be. Listen, nine holes practice. Do you know what I mean? Nine holes just to get into the flow. And then we can start birdieing back nine, like lots of them. Right, back nine, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna make some birdies. 112 yards, slightly down breeze, I'm gonna hit a full sand wedge. Pins at the back, they shouldn't go long. Yeah, that looks pretty. Pin high, 10 foot away. Good look at birdie here. Come on, let's start the back nine in style. Left to right, up the hill. Come on, Rick, scrap rolling them in. Oh, Ricky Shields. It's annoying. Okay, come on, Rick. 11th hole, 105 yards, little flick. Not too dissimilar to the last hole in distance, just a tiny bit less. In. Let's see if we can finally knock a birdie in, shall we? <laughs> that was a nice shot. Landed here. Took a big hop, went up the hill and then just screwed back down to here. This is where we open up the USA birdie count. I'm also kind of factoring in grain a little bit as well. We don't look at it too much in the UK. Come on, Rick. Up the hill, left to right. <laughs> oh, that was weak and pathetic. <sighs> Keep giving myself chances. And surely they've got to drop at one point in time, right? Ah, that was annoying. 126 yards. Beautiful scenery now, as you can see over the back of this green is the Atlantic Ocean. Unreal, looks amazing. Right, let's see uh, again if I can do it justice. Don't spin. Oh, clinging on by a, a hair, bad looks of things. Okay, birdie opportunity, a bit longer than the last two. Not that that really mattered, did it? Because they didn't go in. Up the hill. I've got a feeling about this one, a good feeling. Let's see if we can roll this one in. Oh, I didn't hit it. Didn't hit it. That was right in the middle as well. Another par on this back nine. By the way, just a quick one. Just appreciate the flag game for a minute. I mean, that's gorgeous. Beautiful flag. 13th hole, 171 yards from the black tees, which you're playing off today. However, as you've probably noticed, that's not the main attraction here. That is. It really does make such a big difference. I know you can't pick the location of a golf course all the time, but wow. Okay, it actually says I'm not actually off the black tees today. The black tees way back there. So I'm actually only playing 118 yards, which I'm a little bit more comfortable with. <laughs> oh, it's gonna have to go. Go, 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 go. Ah. <laughs> there might be a little ridge there. Ah, oh, I got punished. Okay, after spinning it off the front of the green, I would normally put this, but I'm going to wedge it, I'm going to chip it. Need to conquer these little shots. Ah, oh, Rick, I didn't commit. Ah, silly boy. 
Okay, big long putt now for par. Not an easy two putt either. That's not too bad. Yeah, silly four. Ah, that was from nothing really. Not a good strike with the wedge from the tee. Not a good chip. Ah, wasted what is a beautiful hole. 14th hole, We're running out of time to start making some birdies, right? But that probably slightly summarizes where my weaker area is. It's definitely from kind of shots into the green uh, and my putting, right? However, still got time. I, and again, I know I keep saying that, it sounds like a broken record. But I mean, come on, soak it all in. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna play a little chippy pitching wedge, keep it down and under the wind. Be phenomenal. Oh, tell you what, it's a good job I changed club. I actually went up a club and that still just clung on the front of the green. As soon as we come up on this hill, the wind is definitely hurting that shot more. Oh, that was a good one as well. That was a good hit. Thought that was going to be perfect. Ah, needed hitting. I mean, could we pick a nicer evening? And you know what? This club has been so nice. Tony, the head pro, is absolutely a gem. He's such a nice guy. And this place is something pretty special. Could definitely see myself playing here more often in the future. Okay, 15th hole, only a few to play. Sun's really starting to drop now. Stunning. Um, need to get some birdies. Need to get one birdie at least. Come on, Rick. What the hell? Par three golf course. I'm going to flick an eight iron into this. Keep it below the wind. Uh oh. Carry. Oh. <laughs> Turned over too much. Okay, so I actually hit the sleeper and then went in, so I can take a drop from here. Right, need to get up and down. <laughs> and this score could start racking up. Oh, I've thinned it. Ah, Ricky. It's all going. I'm getting a bit tired now. <laughs> Long day. Starting to maybe catch up on me a little bit these last couple of shots. Ah, this is a hard hole. <laughs> this is taking all of my effort to complete this one for a double bogey out of nowhere. Great double. <laughs> ah, that's annoying. Okay, disappointing double bogey there. We're on the 16th, I'm six over now from nowhere. I've got to make a birdie on the last three to break 60. Keep coming wind. Oh, I thought that was gonna keep coming round. Pin high, just slightly right. Okay, just off the green, putters out. We're racing against time as the sun starts to drop and we run out of time to make birdies. So let's make one count right now, right here, just off the green, the old trusty putter. All oh, right, jumped on me. Break, break. Yeah! <laughs> I never. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, 17th hole, up the hill, 153 yards, nine iron. Two to go, two pars, gets us under 60. Come on, we can do this. Back right pin position. We've got to hit all of this nine iron. And then wind, and then wind. Yeah, probably pin high on the green. Wind's just kind of dropped a bit, to be honest. Okay, on the green, big sloping put. I've just, if I knew this green a bit better, I, I wouldn't have, uh, I wouldn't have missed here because I'm in the wrong kind of little section of the green. But never mind. Down the hill, swinging off the left. Could we get one more bit of magic? Stimmer. That was a really tough putt. Important putt. I've got to knock this in and par the last to get in in the fifties. Up the hill, right to left, firm and confident. Nice. Before I finish the video, I've got one more hole to get to go. I just want to say how much I've loved this place. It's just absolutely epic. And if you're enjoying this content, enjoying the Florida content that's going to be coming, be sure to smash that like button. Be sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss out on this stuff because honestly, what I've got planned this week is going to be pretty phenomenal. Okay, this is it. Last hole on this beautiful golf course. 156 yards, but ever so slightly down breeze. I'm going to rock it at nine iron at it.
That 99's got about 180 yards. <laughs> Adrenaline must have been pumping. Okay, we're on the green, but honestly, <laughs> that 99 went so far. Must have been, the wind must be stronger than I thought. Right, back to the front of the green. Come on, just nestle it nice and close. Two putts, gets us in at a 59. Oh, <laughs> I tried to just nestle it up nice and close, but it just kept going and going and going. Little knee knocker to finish off the video. Again, guys, if you've enjoyed this, make sure you smash like. I don't know how you couldn't enjoy this wonderful venue. I know the golf's not been phenomenal, work in progress, but this for a five over, 59, and a beer is waiting for me in the bar. Oh, Rick, you idiot. <laughs> guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Good little practice, ready for a very, very busy week.